And now for a rare look into the heady, heady world of investment banking and from an insider. Siobhan McKenna was one of the youngest ever partners at McKinsey Globally. She's now Group Director of Broadcasting at News Corp Australia, Managing Partner of Lachlan Murdoch's private company Illyria and a Director on the boards of Woolworths and Foxtel. That's a big piece of the top floor. And Siobhan McKenna has just written her first novel, Man in Armour, with sales starting in May. I asked her first why she chose a character like Charles, her leading man, to write about. Well, I thought that Charles, um, with his particular personality traits, mm. would be a really interesting character for readers. His dominant characteristic traits are ones that um, I think we see a lot in people, which is aggression, ambition, drive, persistence, a will to win. And I think that people like Charles succeed professionally, uh, no matter what sector of the economy they enter, whether it's politics or sport, academia, medicine, or indeed business. So writing about a character uh, that is highly successful uh, was interesting to me, but particularly the opportunity to explore the downside of having those kinds of personality traits. Yeah, now look, it is a bit of a page turner. Uh, we can't give too much away, but uh, I mean, you've had a pretty stellar career yourself as a, one of the youngest management consultants at, at McKinsey, and then, and then of course, you know, as a chair, and a director, um, and, and a CEO. Looking at the behavior of some of these people in power, what sort of things uh, in, in behavioural terms uh, are we talking about in terms of what could deliver a watershed for them? Well, I, I would not want to go into any explicit examples and I, I would uh, remind everyone that this is a work of fiction. Yes. However, on the day that Harper Collins announced that they had acquired Man in Armour, I got an email from an old colleague who said that HarperCollins should play at the book launch the song You're So Vain by Carly Simon because <laughs> clearly everybody I know will think this book is about them. <laughs> Right, including possibly Warren Beatty, you never know. Um, now, <laughs> now um, look, it's very rare for somebody in your position to uh, write at all, never mind a novel. Why did you decide to do it personally? Well, look, I, I love novels. I uh, read at least a book a week. Uh, and I also belong to two book groups and have done for a very long time. But I also love to write. I, I love... Uh, to bring characters to life. I love to structure sentences. I, I love to choose exactly the right word. And I have been writing fiction for about 30 years. But the key test for me was whether someone would pay me to write. So when HarperCollins uh, offered me a book contract, mm. I, I took that as being a sign that I should do it. So, uh, look, there has been... Uh exposés in the past, particularly in film in the investment banking sector. Uh, who could forget Gordon Gecko? Uh, but, but we've also in Australia had our own expose through the Royal Commission of, of a, a, a lot of greed. I mean, what sort of impact do you think that has had on the sort of characters you talk about who are out there after all? Yes, I think these characters are out there and they're across the full spectrum of sectors in our economy. Look, in my experience, there are very few people who want to break the law. Uh, there are very few people who want to breach regulation. Problems arise when there's ambiguity, where there isn't a clear black line, where there's a shade of grey, and that's what the Royal Commission explored. Now, very many people only ever want to operate in the white zone. Uh, they wouldn't enter a shade of grey and they certainly wouldn't get close to the black line. But people like Charles, the protagonist in Man in Armour, actually thrives in that grey zone. And as a society, we benefit from people thriving in that zone. They are the people who often develop new business models. They're the people who do wonderful medical breakthroughs. They're the people who break world records sometimes. However, going all the way up to that black line in order to win mm. 
does create problems for society and for the individual. And that's, I think, a very interesting issue to explore in contemporary society. Yeah, well, I find that whole space quite intoxicating, Siobhan. But you talked about the individual there. And you, you've also said that Man in Armour provides a glimpse into your world where the path to profit inexorably reshapes everyone, often to the point where even the most resilient don't recognise themselves. Now, does it really have to be that way? Well, look, I think... Society has been transformed over the last 100 years. Now, for people who are intelligent and ambitious and driven, there is an opportunity for those people to change their circumstance in a way that simply wasn't possible uh, 200 years ago and earlier. And the other thing that has happened over this period is that as a society, we've disproportionately rewarded people with those characteristics. Mm. So the issue that we must explore as, as a society is we, whether we want to continue to do that because there's costs as well as benefits to society. And we also need to recognise that there are costs to the individual. Yeah, right. So, I mean, obviously as a businesswoman, you've said your aim is to sell a lot of books and fair enough. But what would you like readers to take from the novel, do you think? Well, I, I hope people enjoy reading Man in Armour. Um, when I read fiction, I love to have the opportunity to see things from another perspective, to face issues uh, in fiction that I wouldn't normally face in my everyday life. So I hope that in reading Man in Armour, people have the opportunity to do those two things. Siobhan McKenna, I wish you all the best with Man in Armour. Thank you, Tiki. Coming up after the break, a new crisis hotline to help small business through the coronavirus. And where to for property prices with unemployment set to soar and auction goers told to stay indoors. Leo Shanahan speaks with Westpac economist Matt Hassan. This program proudly brought to you by Westpac. Whoever you're in business for, Westpac is here to help.